Today I'm going to show you how to reproduce this type of design. It is a name and up, which appears to have a line going through the design. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I would recreate this design. Now welcome back my friends. Just a note that I have opened up channel memberships and with each channel membership you'll get access to my buy me a coffee shop uh, and you can start anytime you can cancel anytime members get free access to my buy me a coffee shop and you'll also get first access to all of my videos before anyone else and soon I'll have a very comprehensive beginner's tutorial that will teach you everything you need to know in order to start designing on Canva. So stay tuned for that. All right, so let's get back to this design and how I would create it. So I've got my Canva open here and I'm going to add some text. Now, some people have said that uh, you can just put a add a uh, shape, a rectangle shape, and just make it transparent. But it's not that easy because I'll show you what happens when you try and do that. So I've got text. I'm just going to change it to Italy. And I'll make it a little bit larger. Now, let's say that I wanted to put a red line through Italy. And so I'll just make my background red. And I'll grab a shape and I'll put a shape down. So here's my rectangle and I'll just put it down like this. And I'll make my rectangle red. So there it is. And now I'll just make it a little bit transparent because that's what people are suggesting. So this is what my design might look like. Now, it's not exactly the same. I mean, if I made this blue and Or black. Let's say I made this black just like the example and I made the text it was kind of like a cream color and then I made my rectangle blue because it was a very bright blue. So let's make my rectangle a bright blue, which is kind of like that. That's how that would look. It's not very appealing. Now this is how I would do it if it were me. So I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to just delete that and I'm going to make the background white only because I like working with white. Uh, and let me just add some text again. And again, I'm going to add the word Italy. Now I'm going to make this a little bit larger and I'm also going to change the font. And I think that I am going to choose um, an Arial font. And let's make this all caps. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this design and I want to make it three colors, the three colors of the Italian flag. As you can see, the Italian flag is green, white, and red. So I want to make the top part green, the middle white, and the bottom red. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this text word and I'm going to download it as a PNG transparent and I only want page two. So I'm going to download page two and I'm going to add another page. 
And on this page, I'm going to add that heading. Now I could have changed the word to one of the colors that I needed, but I guess I just like a challenge. I don't know. So here is my word, uh, Italy, and I need to change it to green, white, and red. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the background color. I'm going to change it to blue. And I'm going to take my word. I'm going to make two copies. Before I do that, I'm just going to make it a little bit larger. Sorry, I know this is my OCD now. Okay, so I'm going to make two copies. One, two. All right. So I'm going to go to position and I'm going to go to layers. And I've got one of the words selected. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit edit photo and I'm going to select duotone. Now, one of the words I have to change to white. So I know right away, I'm just going to grab that little circle thing and move it right up to the top and make it white. Okay. So that is word number one. And that's actually going to be in the middle. So I'll just bring that down here. I'm going to move this one on top. And I'm going to grab the image on top. And again, I'm going to go to edit photo. I'm going to go to dual tone and I need to change this to green. So I'm just going to see if there's anything that's green. Here's green right here. Perfect. Let's go in and just customize. And that's green. Okay. Now, if I didn't like that shade of green, I could always come back into custom and I could change it to a shade that I liked. So um, you can just toggle the green here and you can just move the circle to a color that you like. So I'll just keep that one and I'm going to make a copy of the hex code if that's what it's called. And I'm going to paste it in the intensity so that both of the colors are the same. Now I've got one left, one word left, which I have to turn into the color red. So I'm going to click on the last word. I'm going to go to edit photo again. I'm going to go to duotone and uh, I'm going to choose this amber one and see if that's okay. And that seems to be okay. So I'm going to leave it like that. Now I'm just going to do a double check on the Italian flag. So it's green, white, and red. Okay. So I got the right colors. Okay. Perfect. So now that I have finished changing the color for all three of my words, I'm going to take them and I'm going to start to place them one on top of another. And I remember these are images so I can crop them. So I'm going to go ahead and crop this from the top and then from the bottom. And now I'm going to grab my red and I'm going to layer it on top as well. Now, unfortunately, the red went in behind. So we have to go to position and we need to move the red up layers to the top. And now what we need to do is we just need to bring or crop the red down to where the white ends. And now we have Italy, which is now three colors. Now let's take a look at our design from our Facebook group and the design I created. We can create this similar to how we created this. And we can find also fonts that have speckle in it too. If we wanted to, we could add a little bit of speckle here as well. All we need to do to add a little bit of speckle is we need to find splatter. So we can come up to the elements, search for splatter, and here's some splatter here. And all you need to do is make it the same color 
as your background. So in this case, my background is blue. So we can just make that splatter blue. And we can just alternate it all through our design. And this is how I would recreate that design. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to be notified when new content comes out. For now, my friends, I will say bye-bye and thank you for joining me.